that we get to come together, Lord God, to simply do what your word tells us, Lord God, and to not just do it in some kind of a forced way, Lord, but thank you, Father, that you have given us the understanding in our mind and that you have given us the rejoicing in our heart that we have reason to come before you and to give thanks to you, Lord God, and to have a heart of gratitude, Lord God, behind every word we sing, behind every word we speak, Lord God, because we have the reason in our mind and the joy in our heart, Lord God, to redirect, Lord, all of our praise to you for the things that you have done as our God, the things you have given unto us as our King and the things you have delivered us from as our Savior and our Healer. Lord God, we worship you today. We glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. You may be seated, church. Welcome everyone who's with us online and here in person for this Thanksgiving service. I want to thank you that you have taken the time to do what the Word tells us to do. Let me read to you. And if you have your Bibles, open up with me to 1 Chronicles chapter 16. We're going to start reading in verse 8. We're going to read verse 8 to 12. And we're going to see what the Word tells us to do. Us people that have been redeemed by Jesus, people that have been set free, people that have been given the name of Jesus to pray in so that our prayers actually work. This is what the Word says, starting in verse 8, 1 Chronicles 16. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon His name. In other words, pray. Call upon His name. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon His name and make known His deeds among the peoples. That's what we're doing. We're, we're giving thanks to Him. We're worshiping Him. We're praying unto Him. We're blessing Him. We're calling upon His name. And we are going to be sharing the very things that God has done. Verse 9, sing to Him. Sing psalms to Him. Talk of all of His wondrous works. Verse 10, glory in His holy name. In other words, the name of Jesus, the name of God, the name of the healer has brought these things into my mouth so I can speak them. He's brought them into my life so I can testify of them. Let the hearts of those who rejoice, let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. In other words, those that come to Him for their troubles, those that come to Him for healing, those that come to Him to be forgiven, let them get happy. Let them experience joy. Let them get ready for how God answers. Let them that rejoice, let them rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and His strength. A lot of seeking the Lord in the church of the Lord today and a lot of people that are somewhat afraid to seek His strength. Somewhat doubtful as to whether or not we can ask God for these big things. If we can ask God to heal. If we can ask God to make a way in the place of our job. To ask God to restore relationships that are so broken we wouldn't even ask God it's unreasonable to ask but to seek him and to seek his strength to not think in what is possible in this world but to say well if my God has all strength then I can pray big prayers seek him and seek his strength seek his face forevermore remember his marvelous works which he has done his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. In other words, choose to take a time, set aside for yourself a time where you take a moment and you come before God and you say, Lord, would you help me remember in this time the things that you have spoken to me this year? Would you help me remember, Lord, the things that the, the prayers that you have answered this year, the small ones, the great ones, Lord. Would you help me to be a man or a woman that remembers the marvelous works that you have done? Lord, it's easy for me to remember all the things people have done, all the things people have done wrong, all the wounds people have caused me. Lord, I want to listen to your word. 
I want to call upon your name. I want to make known your deeds among your people. And that's why we come together to give thanks multiple times a year. We seek to come together. We ask you online to send in those things to make known to us so we can make them known to a wider audience and give thanks to the Lord for what He has done to encourage people with the way that He answers your prayers. Some of the ways that He answers the prayers you haven't prayed but you do have a praise report. You didn't pray the right prayer but you were seeking the right God or you were pursuing the God with the right strength. And He answered a prayer that was in your heart. Let me take you to Psalms 107 verse 20, 21. Oh that man would give thanks to the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. This is a part of your and my call in this world to take time in our schedules, to take moments to use our mouths and to begin to make known in this world what God has done. To begin to share with those around us what God has been able to accomplish. And as we have this service so close to when we celebrate Thanksgiving in this nation, I want to encourage you when you get together with people, take a moment before you get together with them to remember what God has done so that when you get together with people, you're not just the person that gives thanks and that speaks of all of those things that everyone speaks about. But you have things that you have remembered God has done for you. The person that was wounding you, you've been able to forgive them. The difficulties in your life that you brought before the Lord, somehow He got you through it. A story of difficulty in your heart or even sickness in your body and God got you through it. God got you healed. God made a way forward. Remember what God has done. That the voice of those that testify of what God is able to do in this generation may never grow quiet in your generation. You and I can be the reason in our generation that the voice of thanksgiving for God's wonderful works never grew quiet. Amen. Amen. We want to do that today. We're going to have many prayer, uh, praise reports. I was going to say prayer requests. We're going to have many praise reports that are going to be shared with you online and in person today. If there is prayer requests that you would like to send in, feel free to send them in. They're going to go on our pile for the next prayer and healing service. Today, if you have Thanksgiving reports, feel free to send them in. You can send them in. We'll gladly give thanks together with you if you haven't sent them in already. But they're going to be read to you. And then we're going to be led into prayer. And we're going to give thanks in prayer. And we're going to learn how to simply come before the Father. Choosing to remember what He has done. And to worship Him. And then to learn as it is put on our minds to make known His wondrous works among the people. Part of it, we're doing it right now here in this service. We want to pray right now that we learn to become that kind of a man, that kind of a woman in our generation. Someone that comes before God to remember what He has done and someone that goes out of the presence of God to share with this generation the wondrous works of God. This is how you can provoke people to pray. Remember what God has done in His presence and make it known in the presence of men. Father, we come before You. And Lord, we bless Your holy name today, Lord God. We worship You. Lord God, You have answered our prayers. And there's many prayers, Lord God, that You are answering at this very moment, Lord. God, I thank You, Lord, that You answer us who have been forgiven us, who have called upon Your name, Lord God, us who have come before You. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, we thank You, Lord, that You have given us a hope, Lord God, and a testimony. Thank You, Lord, that You have given us direction for praise and thanksgiving. Thank You, Lord, that You have given us so many praise reports to share together and worship You together, Lord God, because You are a God that answers prayer. You are a God that has said, My house shall be called a house of prayer. Father, You have awakened praise into Your own name. You have awakened glory for your own name, Lord God. For you have answered us, Lord God. And we will not be quiet, Lord God. 
We will choose to remember what you have done. We will choose, Lord God, to distribute the truth of what you have done in our life, Lord God, that we may be the testimony and the witness, Lord. You have called us to be that our God answers prayer because of the cross of Jesus Christ. Lord God, teach us to praise you. Teach us to share your wondrous works. In Jesus' name, amen.